Hey guys, Joe here, and here we are to learn about Sonic the Hedgehog. Now just to note, this is my opinion and opinions of others that have made written guides. Sorry if I give you any false information, and if the information may be a little too easy for you, if you are too pro. If you do happen to find any false wording or such though, tell me in the comment section below. Sonic the Hedgehog is one of the longest running game branches today. We first saw Sonic the Hedgehog back in 1991, and since then, he has been in a lot of games, and over 16 devices and consoles. He was made by Sega to rival the Plumber Mario in the console wars, but eventually Sega died out as a console company, and Sonic became a friend of Mario in the new games such as Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Sonic is an extremely quick character that will focus on going in and getting out and dealing high amounts of damage. After you rack out some damage as Sonic, you will be able to kill the opponent with a multitude of kill moves. Sonic is a very good character that has very few bad matchups, making him an amazing pickup for competitive Smash player that won't know where he's fighting. The dash attack of Sonic is half decent, but personally not my favorite one. Now you can use it out of shield to punish the opponent pretty much doing anything, or you can just run around and dash attack, but most of the time when you would dash attack, you could either go for dash attack or side B, and most of the time you should be going for your side B, because your side B is very strong. So if you do have the option, go for side B, but if you are on the ground, if you're on a very flat stage, dash attack can be okay, it doesn't have too much lag at the end, the lag on the end frames isn't too bad, so. If you do need the dash attack, definitely go for it, but most of the time go for your side B because that is pretty much your bread and butter move. Sonic's jab combo is a very fast hitting jab combo. Now it will hit three times and it will do okay damage. You can't really combo after this, but you could try to go for a run up pivot grab and then go for down throw or some type of throw. Really though, the nice thing about this is that you can go neutral air into jab, or you can just go shield into jab, four till into jab. You can do a lot of stuff into jab because your jab is very fast and does have those little frames at the beginning. Now jab does not kill, jab does not do way too much damage, but it is a nice move just to throw out every once in a while. Sonic's forward tilt is an okay one that can kill really late into the game, like 200%. But before that, a nice thing about this is that you can run around and pivot forward tilt, which will have a little bit bigger hitbox and will also be able to hit the opponent quite a bit. You can space really easily with this move, which is what you'll be doing the most with it. It's kind of like jab attack, but a little bit more space and a little bit more damage. Now, you should not be using this move all the time, and it's really only good if you're running away or if you're just standing still. But if you do happen to have a chance with opponents chasing you, you can just just quickly pivot and go for the forward tilt and they'll just get punched in the face. Sonic's up tilt is a decent up tilt. Now it definitely isn't anything like a Pikachu's up tilt and isn't anything like a Sheik's up tilt, but it is a decent one. You can usually go up tilt into Nair or up tilt into forward air, but a lot of the times they will be able to air dodge or they'll be able to just go for the attack on their own if it's somewhere like Yoshi. So I wouldn't go for up tilt way too much, I'd usually go for up smash instead. But if the opponent is right on top of you, up tilt can be pretty nice because it does combo a little bit. Down tilt is one of Sonic's fatter tilts since his tilts really aren't way too good. They're decent, but they're not the best. Now, with down tilt, you'll be able to down tilt and either trip the opponent or just hit them far away. And once you do that, you can immediately go for a grab, you can go for a down throw or a forward throw, and then you'll be able to combo off of that. Now, down tilt does come out very fast and it does hit a little bit in front of you. It does have a pretty far hitbox, so you can use this to space. Also, down tilt is one of his tilts that you should be using most often. Just to say, all of Sonic's smashes are really good, which is probably one of the best parts about him, but let's get straight to Side Smash. Now, Side Smash is a very strong, semi-quick smash. It does come out a little bit slow, but it does have a pretty big hitbox. It will kill really early, like 100%, and if you have Rage, maybe even earlier, and it does actually have a pretty fast animation after you get it started. Now, it does have quite a while for a wind-up, but once it does get hitting, it will actually hit the opponent pretty fast. One of the stronger moves that he has, and should be used quite often. Down Smash is also a very good smash. Now the reason for this is because you can use this smash for actually reading rolls, which is probably the thing that you'll be using it for the most when the opponent rolls towards you. Down Smash or rolls away, Down Smash. It has a pretty good range and can be used quite often. Another good thing about this is that it can gimp people with bad horizontal recoveries, similar to Jigglypuff. Now when you do use Down Smash, it will hit the opponent way far to the right or way far to the left, depending on where they are. And if there's somebody like Mario, they really can't recover and it will be able to kill them. Now this move actually does immediately kill the opponent off the side of the screen, but that really only happens at like 160, maybe a little earlier if you have rage. So most of the time you'll be using this either to get read some rolls, or just be able to gimp some people that have a really horrible horizontal recovery. 
Up Smash is probably Sonic's best smash hands down. Now it does have either invincibility or super armor depending where you are in the move, which is very strong. And the nice thing about this move is that of course you can do it while running, so you can do a running up smash. And while you're doing that, the startup and the end of the animation will all pick up the opponent. So while you're still moving a little bit, it'll be able to pick up the opponent, so it will have a bigger hitbox than it does seem at the beginning. Now this move actually does kill very early also, which is really nice. And if you're on a place like the top part of Battlefield, or just a place with a really low ceiling, so much like Smashville, then you'll be able to kill the opponent very early on. You want to pick a stage with a low ceiling, or with an area where you can kill them early, because this will be one of your better kill moves. With this move, all you'll really be able to do is go for the up throw, up B, up air, or just go through up throw, up air, which does work semi-decently. Now the opponent can DI out of this, so it's really not the best combo, but it happens so fast that it's similar to Pikachu's up throw down B, that it's really hard to dodge if you're going a little bit fast. So you can use this as a mix-up kill move if your opponent is really getting used to smash attacks through your kill moves. Down throw will be one of your most used throws. Now with this you can usually go down throw into a dash attack, and then you can go for some other moves like down throw into a pivot smash if you are hoping to be lucky or into an up smash. Now down throw isn't the best combo throw because it won't combo into two or three moves, but if you do want one good hit after a down throw, this will definitely be your best throw. Back throw used to be one of Sonic's best killing moves, but after the patch, back throw really isn't as good as a killing move. It can still kill 160, sometimes 150 if you're lucky, or maybe 130 if you have some rage, but it will not kill at 90% like it used to. So you really can't hope for your back throw to kill, which is a little bit of a problem. Now you can use your back throw to get the opponent off the stage again to go for forward airs and back airs just like your forward throw, but back throw isn't just quite as good as it used to be. For forward throw, one thing that you can do is go forward throw into running and then a forward air, but once again they can either air dodge or they can just attack you or they can just be out of it, so it's really not the best. Most of the time you will be using forward throw to get the opponent off the stage when they are facing that side of the stage, and then you'll be able to kill them with your forward air or back air. It's not the best move, but it can be used to get the opponent off the stage, which will pretty much be what you're doing with it. Sonic Snare is a very fast snare to come out. Now it will hit all the way around him and it will do okay damage. It can also kill which is a really nice thing. It's just a good move to use when the opponent is anywhere near you. You can also use Nair as a get out attack when you are being comboed by somebody like Zero Suit Samus. When they're up airing you, you could go for a Nair. And if you're lucky, it'll hit you out of the combo and will save you. Now there isn't way too much more you can do with Nair. You can go side B into Nair and maybe down throw into Nair if you are lucky. But Nair is overall a okay move and it does decent damage and it's pretty strong for Nair. Sonic's Fair will be one of his best aerial attacks. Now with his Fair, what you will have to do is short hop Fair or just full hop Fair depending on where the opponent is on the ground. And you can usually go Fair into Fair into Fair if you're off the stage or you can just go Fair into Fair. You can do a lot of Fairs connecting into each other. But if you are off the stage or near the end of the stage, you can actually go Fair into Fair and then kill the opponent off the side of the screen as low as like 20%. It's a really ridiculous combo, but it does hope that the opponent does not really know what they're doing. Now after you do this, you can go for the up B and get back on the stage, but his fair will definitely be one of the most used moves with its multi-hit and with a lot of really fast hitting properties. The dare of Sonic is probably his worst aerial move, truth be told. Now it's like a lot of other dares in which you can kill yourself, but luckily for Sonic he can dare off the side of the screen and then go for an up B and actually live off of it, unlike someone like Sheik, so it's a little bit nicer. Now this move can spike, and this move can be used on the stage, short hop dare to do an okay amount of damage and have a pretty big hitbox, but most of the time you should go for fair or nair, just any other move instead of your down air. Sonic's up air is a very good juggling tool, it's a very good tool to do just big damage to the opponent, and you can actually short hop, fast ball, and up air on the ground to hit the opponent and then juggle them continuously. Also a really nice thing about this move, it will kill off the top of the screen really early, depending on what stage you're on. If you're on a stage with a low screen, it'll kill really fast, and if you're on a stage with a high screen, it'll kill pretty late in the game. Definitely, once again, pick a stage with a low screen, because with the screen boundaries being really low, you'll be able to kill off the top extremely early. The back air of Sonic will probably be your most used killing move as far as Sonic. Now it isn't that great, 
if you just want to attack on some damage because it is quite a bit slow. But if you want a nice killing move, back air would definitely be the choice for you. Now back air does come out at a decent range and a decent speed, but most of all, it does kill. You can use this off the side of the stage or even the middle of the stage and it will usually kill. It can kill at about 100%, maybe 120, depending on how much rage you have. But if you are looking for some kills, go for back air quite a bit. Neutral B is a half decent move that can really only be used after a side B or just guessing where the opponent is going. Really you shouldn't be using neutral B that much and a really bad part about it is that after you use neutral B a lot of times you'll kill yourself if you need the side of the stage. Now I wouldn't recommend using neutral B that much or pretty much ever at all but if you really want to do it you can go for this move. Side B is Sonic's bread and butter move. Now we'll be going over this move quite extensively because it is so important. So with Side B there are a lot of things you can do. With Side B you can press Side B a lot of times and then press the shield button. You can press Side B by pressing Side and B and keep pressing B and then just run up and it'll push you towards the opponent. And then when you hit them you go for the up air because it will hit them and immediately go for an up air. You can go for a forward air after this and you can go for a neutral air off of your Side B. My favorite thing though is definitely going Side B, Side B, Side B when they think you're going to attack and then shielding and then you can go run up for a grab. You can trick people a lot with side B. Also the thing about side B is that you can actually jump out of side B if you are off the stage. So you can go for side B maybe if you're just pretty much wanting to hit the opponent off the stage. And then you can jump up B and with your really strong up B you'll be able to live. Side B can also go into back air and it can go into a lot of different moves. If you want to learn how to play Sonic you will need to learn how to play side B. That is pretty much the number one thing about Sonic other than the smash attacks is just learning that side B in and out. Sonic's up B is a very boring thing, but it is a very good recovery. Now it's not very good horizontally, but you can use side B in order to kind of help with this. Most of the time though, you'll just go for the up B and hope that you live. It will shoot you way up into the sky, similarly to Mega Man, so most of the time you will be able to live. But yeah, this pretty much is only useful for you to be able to actually get back on the stage. And you could maybe use it as a projectile, kind of, because it hits below you. But really, just use this to get back on the stage and you'll be fine. Sonic's down B will probably be his least used move out of his entire kit. Now the problem about his down B is that it's pretty similar to his side B except for a lot worse. So if you are just starting Sonic or if you're pretty good at Sonic, I just recommend never go for down B. There might be some little combos, but really side B is just overall a lot better. So learn your side B, not your down B. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you did enjoy. If you did enjoy, make sure to press that like, comment who you want next week, and press that subscribe button. And also add this to your favorites list because everybody does that. If you did get to the end of the video, then put in the word, I got to the end. Just put that. <laughs> and then this time, nobody will wonder what it means. But it'll pretty much be like a seal of approval. And then I will comment to most of the people that said this. I'll say, good job. I'll give you a thumbs up, and you'll be able to have that. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time.